So hey, when you uh, see these heaters, you kind of expect them to look like this, right? Well, earlier today, this heater stopped working, and so I took it apart, and then I realized there was no video online telling me, number one, how to take it apart. But the easy way to fix it, because I didn't need to take it apart. Yeah, so uh, let me jump into that, and I will show you. I'm going to unplug it and uh, give you a little quick rundown, super quick. So yesterday, this heater stopped working. It's just one I keep in my apparel shop, and... It's a very expensive heater, and usually with expensive heaters, there's a way to reset things if they overheat or whatever. Well, I cleaned the filter, which I'm going to... So I cleaned this filter, and I tried to restart it. It didn't work. I tried everything, and then I started looking at different types of videos. And one of them said you had to take a back off from one style and hit this reset button, and I thought, gosh, I'll do that. So I took all of these screws out, none of which I needed to take out. Because there is a reset right in here, in this little thing right here. All I had to do is take off two screws, those two screws, and there's a little round thing you pull, and that reset it. It was that simple. So I hope this helps somebody not take apart their entire heater. And um... Anyways, then your heater starts working again. It was brilliant, brilliant design. Um, but basically what it had done is it shut down the entire front display and it wouldn't work. It didn't matter if you turn it on, turn it off, unplugged it, whatever. It had overheated and that reset was clicked. It's not rocket surgery, people. Just go ahead and try it before you throw them out. Have a great day.